welcome back to Designs by Shy. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to sublimate on a sublimation coffee mug. And I'm here to tell you how easy and simple and quick it really is. I know a lot of people are nervous about sublimation. And once again, as always, everything is always, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Everything is always more complicated in your mind than it really is in reality. So you just have to jump in and do it and that's it it's really that's it you just got to do it okay you just got to do it and then you will realize it's really not that bad all right all right i get a lot of comments about how i make things look easy or i make things look simple but i promise you it's not me it's really just that simple and that easy so let's go ahead and get right into the video but first before we get into the video if you have not already went and subscribed to my personal youtube channel please go and subscribe right now pause this video Go subscribe and come back, okay? 30 Shades of Shy is the name. I will leave the link below and I will also leave the name of the uh, channel on this video so you have no excuses, okay? Go subscribe to my personal channel. It's not craft related. It's all personal. It's going to be funny. It's going to be real. It's going to be some podcasts with me and my guy friends. It's going to be podcasts with me and my girlfriends. It's going to be very interesting. My first video I have, not my first video, but my next video that I have coming up is going to be my story time of how I found out I was a side chick. So it's going to be interesting, okay? And it is really me in all 30 shades of me. Um, but yeah, so go and subscribe right now. Go. Go ahead. I'll give you time. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Okay? Alright. Are you subscribed? Alright. So now let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright, so we're on our blank canvas as always. So now I'm just making this tutorial for um a fringe so I can use use it for this tutorial. So you know, we're just gonna really just put something together. I'm not gonna um, go all extra. So I'm just gonna look for some splashes. Or should I put in splatter maybe? I want something like that, but not that one. There we go. Mm, I think we'll do this one. Do this one, I'm gonna change the color to be a little darker. So right now I'm changing the letter space. So I'm taking the letter space down and it's bringing the letters in closer. So I'm gonna make this bigger so it's easier to do my, I may take the splatter out honestly, actually now that I think about it. And I want this to be just a plain font. I'm just going to make it the same font as this. Oh, letter space. <clears throat> 
So I'm actually going to separate this because I don't like it together. And put coffee here. So as you will see, the part that takes the longest when it comes to making sublimation things is creating a design. I'm telling you, it is simple and easy and quick to actually sublimate it once you figure out the design you want. this at all Alright, so that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to now highlight everything and I'm going to click flatten. So now that I have clicked flatten, it is just one image. And it is now print, print then cut instead of being a cut file. So now I'm going to make it the size I want it to be. So I know I want my height to be 3.4. So I'm just going to let the with change automatically okay so now this is how we have it right so now I'm going to click make it and remember with everything you saw oh, well, I don't know why that was there but remember with everything you sublimate um, you're going to you're going to mirror the image so try that again make it and we're going to click mirror so now it is backwards here so remember that because that is very vital to sublimation then we're going to go to continue and we're going to send it to our printer first so you will come here and you will go to where your printer is on the drop down menu and then you will click print okay so I know it's a glare here so you can't see what it says but it's just on the main menu you have the same printer then you know what that looks like so this is the A sub um, sublimation paper that I use. So I'm just going to put it in there. I will take right here um, this button here and I will push it up till it meets the paper. Then I will stop it and then I will press here into the printer until I hear it click. All right. So as you can see, this will not close all the way, and that's fine. As long as this part is all the way in, it's good to go. 
So now it's just telling me to make sure you have the right paper size and paper type um, highlighted. So I close that menu and now I can go ahead and print the image that we have created. So this is how it came out. You can see that really well or not. Um, but yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut it by hand and we're going to tape it to the mug. So before we do that, I wanna show you my convection oven, which is here, and I will leave the link to the same exact oven in the description box below. So for mine, I turn my toaster all the way to dark and I leave it on until it's all the way um, goes around. And when this when this stops, then I know it, my oven will be ready. I'm basically preheating the oven. So I know it will be ready and it will be good to go once this timer stops. So I have this on 400, the time of 400, I have the function on toast. And I just keep this on zero, the time on zero. And then I use the toaster part down here as my timer. Okay, so now we are in my lap, and I just cut this out by hand. I don't use the Cricut machine. Um, like I tell people, you don't necessarily need a Cricut machine for sublimation, but I know for my necklaces and things like that, like things I need to cut a circle out on, a perfect circle, I do use my Cricut machine, but you don't necessarily have to. So now I have my sublimation mug. I get my mugs from my vendor from Alibaba, but I will leave a um, description to some sublimation mugs I found on Amazon. And you can also order sublimation mugs for me on my Etsy store, and I will also leave that description below as well. So I'm going to now tape this paper down onto this mug using my heat transfer tape. It does have to be heat transfer tape. And the easiest way is to lay the middle down first. Now you can always lay the image down on a flat surface like your table or desk and then lay the tape down and then add it to the cup. But this is just what I prefer to do. And I always use tape that is way too long because I never know <laughs> if it's too long or not. So after I tear it, but that's okay. I'd rather have it too long than too short. So it is what it is. So now, once the timer is done and the preheat is done, we can go ahead and add our mug to the convection oven. I'm just going through and making sure the paper is all the way flat and tightly pressed up against the mug. And don't say anything about my nails unless you're trying to pay for my fill. Thank you in advance. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it looks once I'm done taping. Oh, I'm sorry. This is how it looks once I'm done taping, and now we are going to add it to the convection oven. Okay, so the timer just went off, so it is now ready. It is nice and hot. So now I'm going to go ahead and just add the mug in. Close this, and I'm going to turn this all the way so I can't turn it anymore and let it go.
All right, so now we heard a ding, it is done. So, as you can see, image, you can see the image very clearly through the tape. So that's usually how you know it is done as well. So now I'm gonna put it on top and let it cool down before I take the tape off. And I like to let it just sit um, for as long as possible. It looks red from where I'm looking. We shall see. But um, but yeah, so now I'm going to let it sit and cool down. And we will come back and take the tape off together. Okay, so now we are going to untape our mug. It is no longer hot and I cannot recall how long I just let it sit. But I just let it sit long enough so it is not hot at all. And this is the final look. Coffee time with the king. I absolutely, absolutely love sublimation. See how quick this was and the results are amazing. The quality is amazing. I love, love, love sublimation. So this is how it looks in the end, guys. And like you've seen, it's really quick and really easy per usual. So that was the video. This is the end result, as you already seen. The quality is amazing. And the time that it took was less than, what, 20 minutes altogether. So I'm telling you, if you have not already started sublimation, please go get a uh, printer you can sublimate. I mean, go get a printer you can convert to sublimation and get started now because this so simple so easy and the quality is amazing amazing so that is the video as always guys please go like comment and subscribe to my channel and if there's anything else you are needing to see i'm going to start going live every monday and thursday 6 p.m central standard time so please join the live let's chat ask me questions and let me know what tutorials you guys are needing or wanting to see and i will try my hardest to get that out in a timely manner but until next time guys please be safe and stay blessed